Hey everyone, um, I want to do this uh, video of, of news I have I've recently uh, saw on Marvel's website that uh, Jeff Loeb is now executive vice president of Marvel TV operations, and uh, this is pretty much the second promotion that they have announced uh, following uh, Joe Quesada being promoted to what was it? Uh, Executive CEO or something like that or something like that he, uh, CCO or something, something like that of Marvel Entertainment um, Yeah, so this is pretty much the second big announcement that came out of Marvel as far as the executive side or, or, the, or the staff um, Side of things the behind the scene things I guess you could say And I think this is absolutely the dumbest horrible idea promotion person that Marvel has ever done Jeff Loeb and <laughs> Jeff Loeb executive vice president for Marvel Entertainment TV <laughs> really have you seen Lost? Have you seen what happened to Lost and to um, Heroes? Heroes is gone. Heroes is gone. They couldn't recover from what happened when Jeff Lowe was on there. That's why they they had to cancel the seasons because cancel the series because they couldn't recover from what Jeff Lowe was doing to that series and it was horrible. Lost almost lost their their series. They almost lost it because Jeff Love was on there, and, and it was horrible. They, they had almost lost it when he was on there. When he left, they, they recovered, luckily. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that is, oh my gosh. I mean, you would think with a track record of like that with, with television, you think they would learn. That, okay, you know what, maybe we should stay have this guy stay away from the TV stuff, you know, because we don't want any of our stuff ruined. But no, um, I mean, uh, why are they keeping this guy around? You know, it, it's, I mean, have you seen the Hulk books lately? I mean, the last one I picked up was horrible. It was, it was, God, it was horrible. The the Hulk books with, with, the, with the Red Hulk. And, um, spoiler alert if anyone hasn't read, read the Hulk book, but I, I'm, Probably doing a lot of people a favor by by spoiling this. Uh, I had recently been told that uh, the Red Hulk has the identity of the Red Hulk has been revealed. And when I when I heard it, when I heard it, I was just like, "Are you serious? Are you are you serious?" Thunderbolt Ross was the Red Hulk. It's like. <laughs> Wow, I'm laughing because it's it is just horrible. It's a horrible idea, and and is you know, how something is so bad that it, it's just funny. And this is such a bad idea, such a bad move. It is just hilarious to me. It's 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 crazy. It's madness. It's it's this madness is contagious. I guess. <sighs> Thunderbolt Ross as the Red Hulk. <laughs> really, like, okay. First of all, he hates the Hulk. Why would he be a Hulk? It doesn't make any sense. It's horrible. Why would you do that? And how would you get? How could he? How could he transform into the Hulk? Into the Red Hulk? He doesn't have a mustache. Red Hulk doesn't have a mustache. <sighs> I mean, you think it, it, you think maybe maybe they would connect. Maybe maybe if they did a little bit of writing, saying okay, okay, he has a mustache. Maybe he's the Maestro from the future from uh, Hulk Future Imperfect. You know, maybe 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 this is the sign that maybe maybe the Maestro uh, might happen or, or or something like that. Something clever like that. 
you know, maybe it would be Talbot because Talbot, you know, has shown mustache. Maybe that's him. You know, give a little, 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 um, a little mystery behind that. No, no, Jeff Loeb can't do that. Jeff Loeb cannot give uh, subtle hints like that, or or, or even uh, uh, so much of it as a little lead into uh, who the actual character is. No, he has to keep it entirely secret, even though it makes no sense. <laughs> And oh god, it's horrible. I mean, does this, this, this seriously does Marvel does Marvel want to keep people around? Their their fans around because it's just the stuff that they're doing lately is 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 crazy. It's mind boggling. It's utter insanity. I mean, if you look at when I was looking to buy comics again when I realized that I'd be able to afford comics again. Um, I was looking at the books to see, you know, when I could get them and, and look, basically looking forward to, to uh, what I'm, what I'm going to buy and what, what I'm not going to buy. Secret Avengers, Invincible Iron Man, Thor, Secret Warriors. That's all I'm going to get from D, from, from Marvel. Four books I'm going to pick up. Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corps, Birds of Prey, Green Arrow, Wonder Woman, um, Brightest Day, Zatanna, and The Flash. I'm picking up twice as many DC books as I am as Marvel at this point. Why? Because DC just intrigues me more right now. And I never, I would never think, you know, in a million years that I would pick up more DC books ever, or even even pick up a D DC book at all from, you know, from a Marvel book. I, you know, I totally think that Marvel would totally own the day, but boy, was I wrong. I have no idea what is going on with Marvel right now, but they are just, they're making horrible decisions. And I don't know if I could stick around in much longer or stick with being exclusive of a Marvel person because it's just crazy. I love the characters, but they're just screwing everything up. And it is it's frustrating. It's frustrating as, as a Marvel fan. And, you know, I just I just wish they would do something about it. So, yeah.